This is In The Paint, casting an eye on the world of hoops on 11.16 SEM, Melbourne's home of sport. We're going from the Cairns Taipans right across the country. We're heading to the Perth Wildcats camp and we welcome Jesse Wagstaff. G'day, Jesse. How you doing, Mark? Not too bad, mate. Thanks for your time on this Sunday night. And last time we saw you guys on the floor was uh, just before Christmas and you yourself had a ripper with 15 points. It must have been good fun. Yeah, it was, uh, it was great to get a win before uh, before Christmas. Um, Christmas always feels a bit better with a win. <laughs> now, you guys not uh, foreign to the winning this season, going along okay and sitting pretty on top of the table. It must be a lot of positivity around the Wildcats at the minute. You know, there is a lot of positivity. I think we've got to keep it in reality, though. I mean, you can you can drop three games and be out of the uh, out of the top four. Um, so you know, we're not getting complacent. Um, we know it's pretty tight up there, yeah. all through the middle and the ladder. Seems like Coach Rod Beveridge sort of demands a lot from you guys, and that's to be expected when you're playing in the, the top level of basketball in the country. And uh, despite the 12-point loss that you had uh, a couple of weeks ago or a week ago now, he seemed pretty pleased with your output. It must be good to get some glowing reviews from the man in charge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's always good to play well. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm still coming off the bench, and my job's to, to back up Shawnee and, and Shench. And, um, you know, I'm happy with that. Um, if they're playing well, you know, um, leave them out there and, and let them do their job. But, you know, I'm happy coming off the bench and uh, doing what I can. Uh, Sean Redditch and Luke Shench, it must be awesome playing with guys like that. Definitely, you know, um, guys like Sean Redditch, Luke Shench, even, you know, Martin Catalini. Mm. Um, they've been around the league and um, had some experience. Um, guys like Cat, they're just phenomenal. Um, learn from them, take, what, take whatever you can from them. Be a great initiation for you, uh, Coach Beveridge. Sort of mentioned your work ethic. I imagine that you can't slacken off at, at training or at practice when you're coming up against guys like that. No, I mean if you slack off, you take a play off. <laughs> guys will punish you. <laughs> yeah. Guys will punish you. Understandable. Well, that's what it must be like in the NBL. Obviously, uh, when you do come on the floor, you'd be expected to be ready and raring to go and, and nice and fresh and bringing some uh, relief for the for the guys. And uh, is is that something you try and focus on every time you take to the floor, focusing on working hard? Yeah, definitely. You know, I try to bring some energy off the bench. Um, you know, and do what I can. Uh, you know, get a few rebounds or, or get some points, whatever's really needed. But uh, you definitely can't slack off in this league. You know, any team can really get you. Hey, you find yourself over in Perth. Uh, are you a Canberra boy? Did I uh, uh, yeah. read that you're from Canberra? Yeah, and I'm a Canberra boy through and through. Nice, mate. And uh, <laughs> you spent some time in college, playing college ball in the States. Tell us a bit about uh, Metro State Uni. Where are they based? Uh, Metro State, it, it's based in uh, Denver, Colorado. Um, Beautiful. Has, has quite an Aussie connection. Uh, Mark Worthington went there, Luke Kendall. Um, you got Barley, you got Drew Williamson with uh, the Perth Wildcats now. Um, so quite the Aussie connection. Um, mm. you know, it, was, it was great four years. Um, got a degree and you know, great four years of basketball. What's your degree in? Uh, engineering. Oh, okay, cool. And is that something that you still get uh, a chance to dabble in or is it sort of uh, basketball a bit too consuming at the moment? Oh, I'm, I'm trying to trying to pursue a masters in probably an MBA pretty soon just to okay. keep the options open after basketball. Mate, you're a busy um, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll I'll just do a part time and um, yeah, see see how hard it is to to get those two commitments together. What was it like being in Denver? That, that's uh, reportedly a pretty beautiful city and obviously uh, nice and mountainous and picturesque. Uh, did you get much of a chance to have a look around? Definitely, you know, it, it is a beautiful city. I think it's it's probably the nicest US city I've been to. Mm. Um, just kind of cradled in the Rockies there. It does get a bit cold, but uh, <laughs> it's snowing over there right now. But, you know, beautiful city, and, you know, you, you get to venture out in the summer and go up the mountains and, and what have you. Uh, did they let you ski or board or anything like that? Uh, they didn't let me, but I, I, got, I snuck <laughs> away one winter and uh, snowboarded. So. That, that's all right, mate. I'm sure they're not listening. It's it's all in the past anyways, isn't it? I hope it? they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. How tough was it in the, in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference? Uh, uh, how was the basketball? Yeah, that's a good conference. Um, as I said, you know, there's a few Aussie basketballers that come out of there, and um, good conference. Um, you know, it's, it's got some players, and um, yeah, guys can definitely play in, in that conference. And the guys at the uni, they would have uh, helped you, no doubt, in the formulative years of your basketball game. Being in the states, you must have got some really good help. What parts of your game do you think uh, really benefited most? Um. Probably, I mean, it's just the, the work ethic there. I mean, you, you can't help but get better. Um, you know, you put in so many reps and you you put in so many hours on the court, and um, you really can't get help. You can't help but get better. 
just just so many hours and learning the game and and how to react in different situations. I think I think they're the keys. Mm. We had uh, Daryl Coletto in the studio earlier on from the Melbourne Tigers, and he was talking to us about uh, New Year's Eve up in Cairns. You guys pretty similar, all the way from Perth, all the way to Townsville for New Year's <laughs> Eve for the clash there. That's uh, that's the sort of trip that you know you'd want to be pretty good mates with your teammates because <laughs> yeah. you'd probably rather be elsewhere on New Year's. Uh, that's all right, you know, it's, it's the job. Um, but you know, Townsville, um, you know, they're playing well and. It should be a good game up on their on their home court. Um, should be a tough one. Oh, they're sitting in third, so they'll they'll really be going after you. It, it's going to be a pretty tough one. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, they got some some great players in in uh, Homicide, and yeah. you know, got some good shooters in, in Cedar and Crawford. Um, you know, so they can really really fill it up um, if they get going. And then in the new year, uh, second of Jan, uh, back at home, I believe, taking on Wollongong, uh, another tough one. There's a, a couple of games that, you know, danger games if you want to maintain touch with the top of the table. Sure, I mean, as I said before, you know, you lose you lose three straight and you can be out of the four. So you really can't take any game lightly. Um, you know, we're concentrating on Townsville at the moment, but uh, it's a quick turnaround back in Perth. Um, for that home game against Wollongong. So <laughs> we really got to be on our game. Yeah, indeed. And uh, how are the recovery sessions going uh, at the moment? And, uh, obviously, you'd be used to all that rigmarole after the, the college sort of stuff, but the Perth yeah. Wildcats, they're pretty good at getting you right to go again in such a short turnaround? Yeah, pretty good. You know, we get massages and, and take care of our bodies pretty well. It's, it's kind of easier for the young bucks like me, but um, <laughs> you know, some of the older guys, it takes a bit longer to get warmed up in the morning. Un- understandable, mate. We won't mention any names. We'll, we'll leave it there, Jesse, mate. Appreciate your time. It's good to see you doing so well in the NBL, and best of luck with the trip to Townsville. Thanks, Mike.